Hello guys, Jackson Dorbio here. Ooh, right. In this video, we are going to be talking about 10 filmmaking tips that you need to know if you are making a low budget film. So, number 10, if you have a low budget and you want to go anywhere, just if you're trying to get a specific location, just shoot in one location. Most films, most low budget films in the past have done this. Shot the film in one, one location and they, they became major blockbusters, such as the Blair Witch Project. Number two, and number nine, find actors that would want to work for little or no pay. If they are interested in working in your film, you can hire them. And that's exactly what I have done in the past, but, well, now I'm still trying to find some new actors <coughs> for my upcoming film. Texas. Nah. For my upcoming film, Aftermath. It's gonna come out in 2024. I was trying to find a brand new cast. I was trying to film with some familiar faces. Alright. Number eight, make sure the plot makes sense. Once again, if you have a script or no script, you have to make it make sense. Like, it cannot just be, well, it cannot just be, like, it just shows, like, a girl running away from, kind of, kind of like what they did in Mojo as a Madness. They really just cut, they really just cut her to an exciting part in the beginning. The plot made absolutely zero sense. Yeah, so, anyways... Make sure the plot makes sense. Number seven. You have to act. You have to. Well. Okay. Number seven. You have to shoot in a location that you own. If you own a location, you if you want to film a location in your house, you can do that. That will lead you to major success and more. All right. So just after most is official. Number six, identify yourself. As a, like, if, if you're trying to identify yourself as a corporation or a studio, you need to come with a logo. If you want to uh, sell the film's rights to a corporation, that they can manage it. If you're low budget, well, you can still make your own studio, and if the film becomes successful, just don't do quantity over quality. I've seen many franchises do that, and they fall very badly. So make sure to do quality over quantity. Yeah, Aftermath is supposed to be one of my good films. Alright. Okay. Number five. Compose a soundtrack. If you have a piano or an instrument at home, you need to compose a soundtrack because at a soundtrack, well, the film is just nothing. It has no emotion or anything. But don't make the film, don't make the music loud enough so that you can't hear the acting. Speaking of which, number four, you have, you have to let your voice shout out. You have to make your voice able to hear everything you need. Filmmaking tips for everything. As with my previous video, you need to make your voice shout out to the rest of the world. You have to make your voice shout out to the world, the rest of the world. And, well, that is how you, and, well... I am a special creator. I've made this for a long time. Number four, shoot in the best lighting possible. Because us filmmakers, well, if you if you shoot in complete darkness and you have a camera that isn't really good, yeah, you're stuck with it. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so that's all for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm sorry I did not count ten tips. Let's just call it seven or eight. Just. Tips. Just, okay, just make sure to like and subscribe, turn on those notifications. I will see you tomorrow.